So let's talk about chlorophyll and its effect on your gut. Chlorophyll is in those uh, things called vegetables, those things that everyone loves to eat so much of. An average American consumes about one and a half cups of vegetables per day. They need a lot more. They need about between seven, maybe even eight, nine, and even 10 per day. But if you're doing regular vegetables, you don't need as many because they're more dense. But chlorophyll is the blood of the plant. It's the green plant pigment. And there's some interesting things in chlorophyll, uh, healing properties. The chemistry is very similar to our blood, but the difference is that chlorophyll has magnesium, our blood has iron. Now, when you have gut issues, whether you have leaky gut or there's uh, inflammation, consuming greens can be very um, irritating to your colon. And this is why people with gut issues might try carnivore because the, all of the different uh, chemicals in vegetables like lectins, for example, can irritate the gut lining. However, if you were to consume vegetables with low lectins, okay, and at the same time, remove the fiber because the fiber can also be an issue, especially if you have um, SIBO, for example, or you have other imbalances in your microbiome, the fiber can also irritate the gut. So if you were to juice greens, low in lectins and oxalates, for example, and consume those greens or do a green juice powder so you're doing this uh, like wheatgrass juice powder without the fiber, that can actually give you the chlorophyll to create some really great improvements on the internal part of your gut lining. So I'm gonna put some links down below of some, some studies on this, but it can improve and even in some cases restore dysfunction in the tight junctions because that, um, and so the lining of your colon shouldn't have holes in it, it should be very nice and tight, and it should allow only certain things through this barrier. Chlorophyll also greatly supports enterocytes. It's your intestinal cells, and they respond very well when exposed to chlorophyll. Chlorophyll can even slow down the formation of fibrous tissue, fibrosis, and even help to slow down the formation of cirrhosis in the liver. And that is because chlorophyll in itself is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So anything that is irritating your gut lining, chlorophyll can be a great therapy as long as the lectins are on the low side and there's no fiber. Also, chlorophyll can help support the microbiome, the mucus layer, and support intestinal permeability, which I've already talked about those, those tight junctions. If you haven't seen my complete video on digestion, I put a link down below. I think you'll find that very interesting. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, 
There's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.